Bases that once housed thousands of soldiers are now completely empty or filled with Iraqi security forces. Of the 505 bases operating at the height of the war, the 1st Brigade, 1st Cavalry Division turned the lights out on two of the last three in the final chapter of the war in Iraq. Thousands of U.S. servicemen and women have years invested in the safety and security of Iraq. Army Staff Sergeant Scott Phillips just finished his 32nd month in country. It feels great uh, knowing that we're not going to have to risk the lives of uh, uh, soldiers here uh, running patrols. Uh, soldiers are going home, their families won't have to, to come back here. Uh, it's just a great feeling knowing that we accomplished our mission. In the final week of this deliberate drawdown, about 1,500 troops remained in country, a landslide number considering 170,000 troops called Iraq home during the surge. All spent countless hours packing conixes, signing over equipment, and clearing rooms to meet the December 31st deadline. The trees look nice. Hello, the brigade's commander, Colonel Scott Eflon, also has years invested in the country. He commanded 1st Cavalry troops through the military's biggest campaigns of the war. From the surge to advising and assisting, he has directly seen the impact on the Iraqi people. I think we, the United States, left Iraq markedly better than we found it. The ideas that are with the population now about rule of law, about human rights, about participative government, those are incredibly powerful ideas that have shaped the globe and will forever shape the future of Iraq. And then when you look at closing out one of the last two bases in Iraq, and you're like, wow, this is, this is important to get right because there's nobody there to pick up or cover our mistakes. And it's dynamic. There's, you're changing organizations. You're moving tons of equipment. You're working with people from all over the world. And uh, to do something different and something new and to solve that problem was fun. As U.S. soldiers withdraw from Iraq, starting from the north and collapsing on down to the south, we eventually make our way right here to the Kubari Coalition crossing on the border of Iraq and Kuwait. The final chapter for the Iraq War is now closed. Majority of the troops in Iraq are now stateside, but the 1st Brigade, 1st Cavalry Division opens a new chapter in Kuwait as the last enduring effort for the region and continues their deployment. We're all soldiers. Uh, we all sign the line. We are doing our job. They want us to, to uh, stay in uh, Kuwait, and that's what, we're, that's what we're paid to do, stay wherever the uh, Army uh, wants us. I'm Army Sergeant Jennifer Dolson, 1st Brigade, 1st Cavalry Division, Public Affairs.